we were 20 people in this room. My family, my grandfather, my mother, my cousins, and other, even other neighbors was here. And we can hear noises. Even we, um, we were thinking that the, that the roof has were gone already because of the heavy winds. I keep on t talking to them. What if we transfer to another house? We get the little children, the pregnant woman, my cousin, to get through to another place because I was thinking this, this house will collapse. So they decided to transfer the pregnant woman, the cousins, my cousins, the little children to this house. That's the other house. Because we were thinking that's the, the mo most concrete house. The most, that's, that, that are not damaged, that's still not damaged. So by then, the only family left in here is me, my grandfather, my parents. And I was just keep on praying and praying. I was looking outside. It was all water. All of this place was so water. No more houses, you can see just water, zero visibility. And by then, I was thinking, if this house will collapse, we will all be dead. But then, around um, more than an hour, the water subsided. And I, I feel relief. I feel, um, I was so very happy because the water was getting lower and lower and lower. But then I was so sad because I, I, I knew a lot of people were struggling also and other did not survive. Other was, was dead. Right now, we're at Kaling National High School. And this is me now. After two months of the typhoon, I became involved with, um, with a charity for the first time of my life to make sure that the children are getting what they need so they can go back to learning. What I'm doing here is to do an assessment. All the pipelines were damaged, all the sanitation facility were damaged. So right now we have an ongoing project in here, construction. So I have to check if the water supply are already working. I have to check the sanitation facility. I was the one who came here first to assess the damages and I have to check at the end if they are now working. Even my friends are envy on me because um, they get back on their old job. But me, I'm in this new job, new challenge and I was able to, to travel and helping people in different municipalities, not only in my hometown.